Well, you likely remember this sign from two years ago when ESPN's College Game Day was in Ames. The sign quickly went viral, as did the man behind it, Carson King. Well, since going viral, Carson King turned that simple plea for beer money into a fundraiser for a great cause. $3 million for the Stead Family Children's Hospital in Iowa City. And he didn't stop there. Local 5's Ryan Scott caught up with him to reflect on that experience and what lies ahead. I've had a bunch of people asking me if I'm going to go back to game day, uh, if I'm going to do another sign. Carson King's last visit to college game day is a familiar one to Iowans, a sign asking for beer money, leading to a new life of philanthropy and fame. I'm not a celebrity. Even if he's too modest to admit it. Just because you're on TV a couple times doesn't make you anything special or any better than anyone else. I'm still the same guy. Um, I'm just, you know, doing my best to, you know, continue the fundraising. Since presenting that $3 million, he's he started his own nonprofit, the Carson King Foundation. Their first event in February of 2020, a fundraiser for those struggling with mental health amid the pandemic. My friends at Iowa Love and I partnered up and we sold uh, Iowa Love shirts, Carson King Foundation edition, raised over $40,000. Their next big cause, helping those hit by the derecho. We raised over $60,000 to help storm relief victims. Hundreds of thousands of dollars for Iowans in need over the last year all because of a sign, a sign he still holds dear. What does the other side say again? So, <laughs> Brock Purdy's Corn Jesus. I thought that was really funny. A West Virginia fan uh, said that on Twitter one time, and I thought that was absolutely hilarious. This is my favorite side of the sign. It usually hangs in his office at the foundation. You'll find other mementos from his experience around his Prairie City home. This is before the Iowa Penn State game where I got recognized on the field. If you plan on going to this year's Cyhawk series, there's a chance you'll see him in the stands. I obviously have Iowa State winning. I think it's going to be one of the best games we've ever had in the Cyhawk series. His prediction? I think Iowa State's going to take it 38 to 24. That's just my personal take. He seems like a great guy. Oh, the best. I mean, even as we were packing up, we were still talking. He was offering to help me camera the camera gear out. He even offered me like a Dr. Pepper I was leaving. And even like as, uh, yeah, as I was heading out, he uh, offered to take me out to a restaurant. There's this spot in Prairie City where he's living right now called Goldie's Ice Cream Shop, where they have this special unique ice cream flavor that is beer ice cream. I'm not sure if it's for people under 21, but uh, <laughs> the the ice cream flavor is that specifically donated. The proceeds from that do go back to the Carson King Foundation. So if you're ever in town, definitely want to check out. I know I will if Excellent. I'm ever back in those woods. Good stuff. Ryan, thank you.